All right, welcome back everybody. Good Thursday evening to you all. Here is a look at Monarch Canyon. I left the top of the screen there off so that you could see the mountains here and it uh, looks a little snowy up over Kings Hill Pass if you were headed that way. That's great news of course for showdown and also looking at Deep Creek in between Townsend and White Sulphur Springs and yeah, it looks a little snowy there and the roads probably a little icy uh, considering the temperatures that have fallen here after being above freezing for a lot of the area, including right there at Deep Creek yesterday. Uh, live look in Helena right now. You can see the sleeping giant. That certainly is nice. I know we have a lot of that hard pack ice and snow still out there. Current temperature of 35 degrees and the west wind is gusted up to about 24, 25 miles per hour at times. Electric City, not much in the way of snow on the ground for now. That will change this weekend 36 degrees west wind up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour as well. So here's the front with a couple of these snow showers popping out ahead of it. Not significantly colder behind the front. So for tomorrow, high temperatures expect uh, them to be in the ballpark where they were today. Still winter weather advisory down there. That does not include Bozeman. It's actually south of Bozeman down for around Big Sky uh, down around Reynolds Pass as well. If you're heading to Island Park, but some snow showers coming through, they've already pushed through around the capital. They started around 10, 11 o'clock today and uh, continue to move off toward the east. There's that snow right over Deep Creek Pass and then over Kings Hill Pass some snow as well and a little snow for the Bear Paws and the Little Rockies. Zortman maybe seeing a few flakes here. Malta, don't be surprised to see a few flakes maybe starting out with a few uh, raindrops as well, but generally just some light snow coming through. There's no little wave of low pressure that will move through northern Idaho and into northwest Montana. It's uh, losing some strength, but it still may produce a couple of snow showers over the western mountains here tonight and then more instability tomorrow, meaning more scattered snow showers will continue for Friday afternoon, mainly over the mountains. Quiet weather, Salt Lake City seeing some snow, but really no issues with any flights uh, if you are heading down that way tonight or tomorrow. So future track, here's what will happen. A few of these snow showers moving out of northeast Montana tonight, but notice the snow showers continuing over the mountains, maybe a snow shower coming down to around uh, the capital and then for Friday some sun across the Montana prairies, but also some snow showers close to the continental divide and some of these snow showers may come down a little intensely for maybe about 10 15 minutes. So some snow showers and snow squalls and then heading into Saturday. Look at the snow developing here in the western part of the state. That snow will be spreading through around the capital and also north central Montana later in the day on Saturday and we've got more snow in the forecast for some Sunday for a lot of the state. So here's the snowfall amounts that will be going at least through Friday night, mainly in the mountains along and west of the divide. And then through the day on Saturday, a little light snow will accumulate across north central Montana. Here's the forecast for tonight. Teens and 20s for a lot of the states. A couple of snow showers exiting northeast Montana, central Montana, the mountains, especially Kings Hill Pass, some snow showers and also cool with temperatures of right around the 20s and upper teens for the capital area for tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies. It will be a blustery day. Some winds maybe gusting 30, even 40 miles per hour and around the capital. A couple of snow showers will have highs in the 30s to right around 40 degrees. So this weekend some snow developing on Saturday. Snow continuing on Sunday. Briefly warmer on Monday all yes, up to 50, 50 degrees. So hopefully it will melt some of that hard packed snow and ice and Great Falls double nickels on Monday. Enjoy it because it gets colder later in the week toward the 1st of February. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it.